Hey, what's going on guys? Jason here. Uh, today I'm going to do a video on JavaScript's constructor functions. I'm also going to talk about uh, the prototype and the proto properties. Uh, so I'm just going to show you a basic example of using the JavaScript constructor function and hopefully you have a better understanding after this video. So uh, what is a constructor function? So let's say I want to create some dog objects in JavaScript. So to do that, I would probably want to have some type of blueprint to create a, a dog object from that. So for example, uh, I'm going to create a function called dog, and I already have it here. Oops, let me remove this. So basically I have this uh, dog function, and this function is what I'm going to use to create all my uh, dog objects essentially. So what does this dog function take in? It takes in a name and a breed and then it's basically uh, my new dog object is basically going to have these two properties which is name and breed. And so uh, another thing I want my dog to have is some methods or some oh, how should I say it? Functionality. And so let's say I want my dog to bark. So instead of putting a method in this function here, what I would do is I would actually uh, take this dog uh, function. And also another uh, thing to note is uh, functions in JavaScript are also, um, they're also objects. So if you look here, I'm going to do dog. And on this dog function, there's actually a property on it called prototype. So prototype and prototype is all it is, is just a object um, on this uh, dog function or object essentially. And so whenever I create a dog, all these dogs from this dog constructor, then um, my dog object that I created from this dog constructor, constructor is going to have access to all the methods and uh, properties on this prototype object. And so on this prototype object is where I would create my bark method. So if I would do dog.prototype.bark, then I would set that equal to a function and all this function is going to do is it's going to console.log bark. Okay. Okay, so, so far, um, just to go over what we have, all we have here is our dog function, or I should say our dog constructor function, because we're going to create all of our dogs from this dog constructor. We have some properties on it, which what which what our which is what our dog objects are going to have. So it's going to have a name property and a breed property, and also on this um, dog constructor function, there is a prototype object on it, where all of our um, dogs that we created are going to have uh, these methods are going to have access to all these methods on these on this prototype. So we're going to have basically a bark method which will just console.log bark. Okay. So we've created our constructor function and we've added some methods to uh, the prototype object. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start actually uh, creating some dogs. So I'll just do a const call this dog1. And important thing to know here, uh, I'm going to use a new uh, keyword here which is actually called new dog and so like I said before dog is just a regular function just like any other function uh, the only thing here is we're actually going to use this function as a constructor so whenever you're going to use a function as a constructor function what you want to do is you want to uh, use the new keyword in front of that um, dog function when you invoke it so that way JavaScript knows that you're using this function as a constructor to create other uh, objects from this constructor. Uh, hopefully that made sense. <laughs> but so, okay, so we have our dog method, and 
from what we know here, we can pass in these two parameters. So we're going to pass in a name, and I'll give it a name of max, and the breed I'll just put in lab. <clears throat> and so, um, okay. So what's going on here now is when I invoke this constructor function dog using the new uh, keyword in front of it, uh, there is there's three things that's happening. So the first thing that's happening is uh, this constructor function dog is actually going to uh, create an object. So it's going to create an object and it's going to attach that object to uh, this. So the object that this constructor function creates is going to essentially become uh, this right here, this keyword. So then uh, what's going on is that we're going to have our object, which is going to be this. And on that object, it's going to add this property called name. And then it's going to set it equal to whatever we pass into that whatever we pass in that function. And on that object that this constructor function dog created, we're also adding another property called breed. And we're going to set that equal to what we passed in here for breed. And so that's the first thing that's happening. And the second thing is that um, on that object that this constructor function created, it's going to, we're going to add the prototype object or the prototype reference to it. Um, so um, let me see here. Okay, so this object is actually going to have another property and it's just going to have it by default. So what this property is called, it's called proto underscore underscore proto underscore underscore. So uh, let's see, basically like that. So this object that this constructor function has created, uh, it's by default going to have this property called proto. And so what this proto property is going to reference is going to be the prototype of this dog function, which is right here, which is going to contain all the methods in this prototype object, which is going to contain our bark method. So that's the second thing that's happening. Um, and the third, thing that, the third thing that's happening is this constructor function is just going to return the object that we created, which was, yeah, which was this. So that's a lot to take in, but hopefully after I kind of show you the example, it'll start to make more sense. So if you run that, and then I type in dog1, as you can see, all it is is an object and this object contains these properties here so it's going to be name and breed so if I open this up as you can see our constructor function returned to us an object with the properties that we expected it and it also has this proto uh, property by default and so what this proto property is referencing is the prototype of the dog uh, constructor function so if you look here, let's open this up here. So if you look in there, we have a bark method. So let's say I type in dog, which is our constructor function, and I grow into its, the prototype. Oh. And I press enter, and we look at what's inside this object. If you look, they are the same thing. So. Look, it has a bark method on it and this other constructor, which we don't need to worry about. But essentially, they're the same thing. They're referencing the same object. And so, um, so yeah. So then, now, if we want to call a method on our dog object we created, so dog1, call dog1.bark, and we run it, we'll get bark. And so when we do this, we're doing dog1.bark. So what's happening is we are taking our dog1 object, which is right here. Let me close this up. And we are trying to access this method on it, bark. And so 
this method isn't actually on this object, on our dog1 object, because all we have is breed and name. But what's going to happen is it's going to say, okay, uh, I want to access this method. I'm not finding it in, my, in this object right now. So what it's going to do is it's going to go into the uh, proto, which is going to be the prototype of the constructor function of dog. So it's going to go up the uh, prototype chain. So it's going to go, okay, it's not in this object, so I'm going to go into the prototype. And this prototype is going to be the dog.prototype, and it's going to be saying, okay, I'm going to go into the prototype, and I'm going to look in here to see if I find that method, and sure enough, there it is. So then I'm going to go ahead and run that function. So, and, and in case this method wasn't on this prototype, then they would just keep going up the prototype chain and going into the prototype of this dog constructor and so on, but um, we won't worry about that right now. But that's basically what's going on, and um, I'll probably do some more videos on this topic just to kind of really drive the point home. But, let's see, yep, but that's pretty much it for the most part of what's going on. Hopefully that made sense. Um, but yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.